Stealth car camping is dead as a doornail. It is done, people. It is finito. It is finished. It is no more. It no longer exists. I'm hearing a lot of online and false information and bad advice being tossed about, and it's just not true. And here is why. This is the real deal. A lot of the nonsense information that's being tossed around out there, you know, this is really, really bad, especially for people that are, you know, newbies that are just getting into car camping. And a lot of this information is telling people to, you know, get special vehicles, uh, to remain stealth when you get out on the road, or to make your vehicle over to look a certain way to remain stealth on the road. And let me tell you guys again, let me be very, very clear. Stealth car camping, it does not exist anymore. It doesn't work. That was years ago, no longer effective. And I'm gonna discuss the reasons why in this video. I'm gonna ask all of you guys out there a very, very simple question. And I want you to answer honestly. Does anyone out there that's been doing this longer than let's say three or six months, regardless of how covert we make our vehicles, does anyone think that we're fooling uh, businesses that we stay at overnight, whether that be a truck stop or a big box store? Does anyone think that we're really fooling these people? Car camping has been a thing now for like 15 or 20 years. And even before that it existed, maybe they didn't call it car camping, but I mean, guys, it's been around like 35, 40, 50 years, okay? So this is not a new thing. And this has exploded in the past five, six, seven years. So there's even more of us on the road now. And businesses are seeing a lot more people in their cars staying on their properties. If anyone thinks that these businesses, they have no idea what's going on, that is the fur furthest thing from the truth. They see on their cameras, they see when they open and close their doors at, at the end of, and the beginning of the day, they see our cars there, they see our vehicles there. They know exactly what's going on. They know the score. Doesn't matter if your windows are tinted. Doesn't matter if you have window covers. I mean, hell, you could, you could paint your car in camouflage and it still wouldn't matter. They know that there's people sleeping in their vehicles in their parking lots. End of story. And, you know, a lot of the information that's out there, oh, you have to get this car and you have to do your car this way and you have to make it look a certain way because you want to, you know, you want to go unseen and you want to be invisible. There is no invisible, people. There is no invisible anymore. This lifestyle is just too mainstream now. It's too above board and it doesn't exist. You know, as far as businesses are concerned, being stealth, it's not a thing anymore. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. There's so many dumb, asinine things that are floating around out there. I mean, just just a couple of the things that I've seen posted, you know, online or on videos and everything, you know, people telling, you know, newbies, oh, make sure you get a, a dark car, a black car or something like that because you want to be invisible or, uh, you know, make sure and tint your windows or get window covers. Don't get a storage box or a cargo box for the roof of your car because that's going to give you up and everybody's going to know you are a stealth uh, camper. It goes on and on and on and on and it's all bull crap. And by the way, by the way, I am not suggesting at all that people that are in this lifestyle, they should not get their windows tinted or have window covers or any of that. I have window covers. I made my own. They are absolutely imperative. You absolutely should have some type of covering on your windows. But, you know, that's for our personal privacy. So when we're in our vehicles at night, doing whatever it is we do, picking our nose, watching YouTube on our phones or whatever it is, that's for our personal privacy. But don't for a minute think that just because your windows are tinted or your car is black or whatever else it might be, don't think for a second that you're fooling any business owner or anything along those lines. Could not be further from the truth. Even, you know, those slick people, that you know have vans and they put Bob's Electric on there or Vinnie's Sign Company. You know they think that they're getting over on businesses, and I hate to break it to you, but they're not. They're not. Okay, 
business owners, the store managers, when they pull up in their cars to start their shift every day and they see 15 vehicles in the parking lot, they know people are sleeping in their vehicles. Doesn't matter if it says Bob's Electric on the truck or anything like that. The vehicle should not be in the parking lot at night unless it's broken down. And how often does that, that happen? And let me be very, very clear in what I'm talking about now. I am only talking about uh, staying at businesses, stealth car camping, if you still want to call it that, stealth car camping at businesses. However, if you are the type of person that you do stay in residential neighborhoods, which I do not, I've stayed in residential neighborhoods, I can count the amount of times on one hand, then yes, you absolutely do want to be as stealth as possible. Because most lay people, most average citizens, they really don't know what's going on with people sleeping in their cars. Staying in residential neighborhoods, be as stealth as possible. But 95% of us are not doing that. Again, we're staying in big box store, parking lots, rest areas, truck stops. There is no more stealth. So if you are new to this and you want to get into car camping and you want to join this lifestyle, here's a couple of realistic things that I can share for everyone. Uh, first, it doesn't matter what color your car is or if you have a cargo roof on the top of your car or your vehicle, anything of that nature doesn't matter at all. Don't even pay any mind to those things. Secondly, as I said earlier, yes, absolutely get your windows tinted as dark as possible. Be aware of the laws in differing states. They have different laws uh, depending upon where you are and how dark you can tint your windows. Or uh, to keep it simple, just get window covers or make your own window covers. But that is for your own, for your own privacy at night or when you're in the vehicle. That way prying eyes are not looking inside. It is not to remain stealth from business owners. They know what's going on. And, you know, to be frank, basically they turn a blind eye to it because they don't want to create a hassle for them and for us. And they don't want possible lawsuits and anything like that. Third, uh, try and blend in as much as possible. As I said uh, many, many times in this video, being invisible is just, you know, it's not a thing anymore. Uh, but blend in meaning... You know, don't have a heap of junk, you know, vehicle with your bumper hanging off or, you know, a dirty looking vehicle or anything of that nature. Because, you know, again, businesses are letting you stay in their perimeter uh, and they're kind of turning a blind eye to it. So you really don't want to stick out and look like a moron or act really, uh, you know, weird or anything like that. So having a clean vehicle that's well put together and, you know, neat, you know, as neat as possible and all of that. That is super duper important. Lastly, and I've said this in, in other videos I put out prior, you know, definitely don't become a pest to the businesses or the places that you're staying at. You know, stay two, three nights at the most and then move on to, you know, another spot. You have to develop your spots and you have to rotate them on a regular basis. You know, I stay at my places two, three, four days max. Then I move on. I go to another spot, another spot, another spot, and I kind of rotate them like that, like a round robin, if you will. So that's really what you have to do. You don't want to, you know, pull into a Cabela's or a Cracker Barrel or, or, or a Walmart, and you don't want to stay there, you know, weeks on end or months on end. That is the thing that's going to get us kicked out. That is what's going to put a nail into this, you know, lifestyle for sure uh, if people keep doing that. So again, rotate your spots, move every couple of days, and you're pretty much good to go.